Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, sorry for not posting too uh, too often. I have college work now. Um, I'm doing um, college in uh, computer technician. It's a lot. It's really busy. I got seven classes and like per semester, so pretty hard. Um, so this video is about, as you've seen the title, is how to make your Discord server look nice, efficient, and you know actually gather members for. Uh, as of the, the last few months of 2020. All right, so the first thing you want to do is download Discord. If you don't have Discord, um, get it. <laughs> so Discord is actually a really nice place to um, host your community, have people join in and see what's going on. It's free as well, and it has a lot. It's it's really good. It's it's probably the best program out there for free that you can interact with your subscribers and whatnot. So you want to download that, go to download here, Windows or Mac. I think just Mac here is iOS, Android, Linux, Mac, whatever. All right. So do that. And uh, once you download it, make your account, blah, blah, all that, all that stuff. All right. So I'm going to start, start fresh for you guys, right? And there you go. All right. So the first thing you want to do with your server, right? You want to have a title that, that clearly identifies what it is. Uh, Caesar server not good enough. You know, it's my server. I did be good enough. It was just for my friends or whatever. But you want it to say uh, Caesar's community or you know something that people know you by. Like me, I've hosted clans. I've hosted many clans in my in like back in the day, and people know that my clans had Mano in it. So that's how. That's why my name's Manocord. This is officially Manocord. It's always been Manocord. It's never changed. So make sure you have that one name that people will remember and know you by the second thing is your logo you want to have a nice logo mine's not that good right now this is still a work in progress um but they see this they know it's my youtube channel because this is i'm the plague doctor this is my youtube channel uh your logo needs is like one of the first things a person will look at they will be like "Ooh, this looks cool and colorful you know i want it i want it real good all right the examples here I, I'm subscribed to a lot of these communities here. Crushed them all. Mobile game has a picture of a character on there. It is your game app icon. It works really. You know, you know what it is. Uh, Forager. See, it doesn't even say Forager, but I know what it is just because of the icon. You know, it's straight there. And that's the logo. Albion Online says Albion right on it. That's their logo. Risk of Rain 2. That's clearly the mountain. Uh, Rust, that's clearly their sign, you know, it, bad line for Minecraft, that's, it looks exactly like it. Just stuff like that, it really, it really matters. Uh, step three, um, not really for looks, but step three is just server settings and then your server region. Mine's US East, that's exactly where I am. Um, I'm in the Eastern time zone as well, you know, I'm in the US East region. I mean Canada, so I go U.S. East, unless if I was like in a different province, then I go U.S. West or whatever. Either way, um, this server, th this server region is where your server is going to be, meaning the physical server, the machine that controls your server, that's where it's going to be placed. The further it is from you, the more lag it's going to cause. So let's say you're in Japan and you go for U.S. East, that's not going to work well. You're probably going to be running. A server with an average MS of like 80, 80 to 120. All right. So make sure if you don't know where it is, you can Google it. Google your province or state. Google where it is and what region you're in. It'll tell you. So I'm in US East. Less lag for me. And yeah. And then you want to save and go bye bye. All right. Step four. If you look at my server, you see the layout here. It's really nice, really smooth. Kissy kissy, you know, you know where everything is. Rules, oh wow, so oh, there must be rules here. Notices, oh wow, announcements, there's even a bell there, so I guess there's announcements here. Oh, it's there's a brain here, I wonder, knowledge, oh, roll info, all right, roll info. Welcomes, I don't know why I use that, probably my mind flying glass, I guess. Look at these small, small names, I don't know. And then you have, oh, the Caesar category, so it must be his stuff. Yeah, so I have my donators here, got my members here. I got my giveaways, you know, wallpapers, upload streams, and then chats. This is obviously where the chats appear, you know. So everything has to, everything is so clean, like the layout, is so nice, cleaned. Um, 
It makes it easier for your members to even know where things are, especially new Minecraft users. I have a lot of people who are new who come here and they don't even, like there's nobody who asks questions about where things are. They just say hello and that's it. That's so nice, really easy. All right, so that was step four. This is one of the most important ones as well, as well guys. Um, the layout is super important. Use some colorful icons, everyone likes that. You don't see colorful icons, it looks really boring. Looks really boring, just like that. Look at that. Super boring. Alright. There we go. So now, uh, another thing that you guys can do for um, a better server is if you don't trust yourself in creating a server, you can always go to like, I mean, there used to be Fiverr. You can have someone create it for you, that's stupid. Um, but now they have templates here, right? These are the top ones. I'm just going to use one here. Random streamers. Let's use one just random just to show you how it is. So, so these templates are pretty much what it is to... Um, these templates are what you would use. Like if you click use this template, it would just bring you to your app. And it would say, oh, do you want to use this? Blah, blah. And then create. And then when you click create, all of these are added to your server. It's pretty much all these are yours now and all these roles are yours now so i'll show you an example we'll use this example here we'll use this template yes yes and there you go now you name it whatever so here i'll name mine um Caesar community sorry i burped and then uh yeah make sure you agree make sure you read these very important i'll come to that in a second make sure your logo is good too uh, and there you go, create. And voila, we're here. Right. I'll give myself owner because I'm cool. See, look, I have owner now. Um, See, so you have everything here. I'm pretty sure even for some some of these guys are too lazy, but some of them actually. There you go. This guy actually did his permissions here, right? So he did his permissions. So here, we'll just check games here to make sure he actually did for everything. There you go. He actually did his permissions for everything. So that's good. That's how you know it's a good template. So you have this, right? You have your important, so you have all these importance of live alerts, streamers, whatever. Uh, lobbies, chatting, subscribers, you know. And then you have your voice chats. See, it's, it's smooth, right? So you're fun. Oh, I know, this is, I know this is where I'll play some games. Or lobby, oh, okay. So this might be like a little chatting area. So there you go, you have a lobby here. Anyway, uh, so now let's check his roles here. His roles should be shown up as well. Uh, rules. There we go. Yeah, so you have guest, member, everything that showed on on the site appeared here. Which one did I take again? This one. Yeah, so we have everything that showed up here. Now, did he do these rules here? Oh, he did. But that's how you know it's a good one. You can also, you don't need this. Look, you can you can literally just change if you don't want mods and write like admins or something. Or mods was short for moderators. If you want to be more professional? Go ahead. It doesn't really matter. It's all up to you. You can also change whatever you want here. Let's say you want to manage server, sure. Manage server, whatever. So now to get these templates, let's say let's say you have a friend who um, let's say you have a friend who you like his server a lot and you want to like ask him for his template or something. Your friend would then go to your go to their server, right? And then go to settings, just like that. Server template. And it even tells you here, server will copy channels and channel topics, roles, permissions, and default server settings. Channel uh, Templates will not copy messages, members or bots, and your server icon boosts or other perks. So they'll, they'll just take your, all they're gonna take is this stuff. You saw it earlier. It'll just take this stuff and your roles, which I will show you in a second. There you go, and their roles. There you go. And then let me go back to the template here. There you go. All you gotta do is name it. So this is my mana cord one. And what can you do in the server? Hang out, kiss, make out, uh, and sexy time. Sure, why not? Generate template. Bam. There you go. Copy. So you copy that. And then if you want to generate one. There you go. So you just create the server. You, you copy that thing. He'll send you it. You click on it. You type it in your URL. 
and you just do this right and then you create see i'm the first one to use my template by caesar and there you go i got caesar server i got everything that's made there all my permissions are are there let me just be more uh Sync to oh, the answer. There we go. My bad. So there, all my permissions are here. You know, normal members can only read and send messages, nothing else, such and such. So that's that's how you would copy paste a template. That's if you want, you know, someone's one of your friend's servers or something. But yeah, otherwise, you can just look at this site here. I'll, I'll post it, I'll post this site in the description below. Um, so you can uh, give give a look to all these other servers these ser these ones are actually um i think they're, yeah so you have community gaming they're all, they're all tagged with um like a category i guess but anyway i hope this uh this was beneficial to you just remember your server region title and icon and server layout are all the most important ones you want to also make sure you have a bot in here that interacts with your viewers or your uh com your members like here i have um I have Atlas here. You can't see him on here because I, I don't show him there. But this guy right here, he does everything in my server. This bot will give you levels, all that stuff. So I, I just give them levels. If they chat in my server to get different roles for different levels, giveaways, whatever. So yeah, just make sure you're, you have some type of game or interactable option in your server so people can stay. Anyway, so I hope this, this was beneficial to you guys. If it was... Please leave a like, please subscribe, and uh, I do stream as well, so please join the Discord if you want to uh, watch my streams. I post them, I stream almost every night, except for when I'm busy with school. Um, but yeah, so that being said, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.